So we're here today to talk about heart disease, which is the leading killer of both men and women globally. I'm a heart surgeon and in my practice, I often come across patients who come to me after they've had coronary bypass surgery and they think that their heart is fixed. Um, nothing could be farther from the truth. Even patients who have had advanced heart disease with heart attacks that have required stenting or bypass surgery, although the stenting procedures and the bypass procedures are excellent to restore blood flow to the heart, to improve the patient's quality and duration of life, it doesn't fix the underlying problem, which is atherosclerosis or plaque buildup in the arteries. And the cause of that plaque buildup is really what we know about it to date is that it comes, uh, it comes to play from all of the cardiac risk factors. And in fact, nine out of 10 Canadians have at least one of the major cardiac risk factors. So uh, for you watching, you may very likely have one of these risk factors and it's very important to control them even if you've had a stenting procedure or heart surgery. So what are they? So um, the important ones are high blood pressure, which you may or may not know you have. You may not feel that your blood pressure is high. The only way to know about it is to uh, have it checked by your family doctor or with a blood pressure cuff and have it controlled. Um, diabetes, which again, you may not know how well it's being controlled or if you have it without it being monitored by your physician. Um, cholesterol is another very important one. Um, the American Heart Association recommends that everybody have their cholesterol checked after the age of 20 every five years. Again, you may or may not know if your cholesterol is high. Even if you have your uh, heart fixed, your cholesterol levels still need to be very well controlled. Um, and of course, uh, smoking. Nothing could be worse for your heart health than to continue to smoke. Um, bypasses and stents do not stay open in smokers as well as they do in non-smokers. Um, and uh, the last one is to not be sedentary and to lead an active, healthy lifestyle. So even though we've done our part by uh, sewing up the arteries or opening them up or putting bypasses uh, on your heart, it's really up to you to maintain your heart health and manage your risk factors.